Hey everybody, it is July 26, 2009. I am Sonic Sons, and I'm here to do a little video response to Mr. John Green over at Vlog Brothers called Selling Out. Or his video is about selling out. Mine is also about selling because I'm responding to him. Hey, that makes sense. What is selling out? Selling out is when you mm, abandon something more important uh, in your quest for cash. Selling so, you know, out happens when someone is, um, oh, making, let's see, music, for instance, or, or um, videos online, you know, or why am I gesturing over there? The computer, my laptop is over there. That's why this gesture was anyway. Um, you're making something, and it's got whatever qualities that make it truly good, and then you start screwing around, because <laughs> it starts to get popular. And you're told you can make more money off of it if you just X, uh, perhaps you change your style in some way that, you know, is more acceptable to the mainstream and you lose whatever made you cool in the first place. That's a little too hard to, to, to see, though, to be sure of, because it's possible that someone could just, you know, like the mainstream type thing. Like, oh, I've decided that I was done with Style X, I'm moving on to, you know, Style 2.0 or something, and maybe, maybe. A little more direct happens with these advertisements, which the Vlogbrothers are supported by advertisements, and uh, for a long time I didn't know it because I used Adblock, see my previous video, ads and Adblock. <laughs> Even blocks the things that pop up inside the, the video. It's really great. Um, but yeah, they're on ads, and there was a recent thing where uh, you know, all the ads running for like Scientology and mail order brides and random crap he doesn't believe in. And it was credit. He comes out and says, hey, we don't believe in that. you know, And, and they have no say over what ads get placed on the thing. It's, that's not the way YouTube works right now. Um, and uh, they don't even know what shows up until after they've posted the video. Nevertheless, there's the guy and the thing in the face and the, says Scientology down there, which is just bad stuff, Scientology. Like, I try to have respect for the people's religions, but that is just... It just don't mess around with those people, please. It's creepy and not nice. Anyway, um, so, you know, someone perhaps got the impression that maybe Scientology is a nice thing or mail-order brides or whatever random crap is a nice thing. Or even just other things aren't necessarily as bad as Scientology, just some random product, you know, some generic cola or whatever. And do you like generic cola? I don't know, but it says that right next to your face. Huh. Now, as the man points out, YouTube, you know, at the moment, doesn't even make money. I'm pretty sure Google, Google owns YouTube, in case you didn't know. It was just, like, spending all this cash on their servers and so forth, and there's not a whole lot of advertisements going around to pay for all that. And this is sort of copyright concerns and yada yada. Um, but he says that, uh, you know, YouTube couldn't survive without advertisements. Theoretically, YouTube could. Maybe if people just sent them money or something. Which, okay, there's not much of a plan in the works for that to happen. But, you know, actually, if, if YouTube... Seriously, you YouTube put it, you put up like a donation link. I'll send you money. I I don't know if I I don't know exactly how much money you've spent on me. You know, for all the server space that I have and everything. Uh, hopefully, economies of scale shrinks that number a bit. But I at least send you something. I am grateful. That, look, I get the stuff and it's all free. You know, and for that matter, uh, a couple other sites uh, that I'm on. You know, can send them some stuff too. But general, everyone's assuming to do advertising. Well, as I said in my previous video, ads and ad block, two big things I don't like about advertising. Number one, distraction, and number two, dishonesty. Distraction, it can be hard to watch a video when the things are popping up and you have to click them, and they did a pretty good job of that. Um, that you can, you know, uh, manage to, you know, ignore it and stuff. It's not like they stop the video, you know, right in the middle, and like, okay, here's 15 seconds of ads. Ugh. But still, it distracts from whatever we're trying to do. And dishonesty. Uh, that there's an implication you must support these things that advertise or something. It's a supposed to be thing. Now, it's not you know, what they're doing over there. It's not exactly um, uh, what do you call it? like a celebrity sponsorship sort of thing. Uh, this is when, you know, you're paid to come out and say, my name is so-and-so, and I think generic cola is awesome, even when you don't think generic cola is awesome. They don't do that. Uh, and I don't think anyone should do that, really. If you believe this is a bad product, and then you tell people it's a good product, you're being dishonest. That's wrong. And that, I think, would be, that, that's selling out, you know. And it happens eh, pretty often in 
uh, well, at least a lot of big celebrity figures, you know, they sign their contracts to appear in ads or whatever. And to furthermore, like, you know, only use that product. Like, you, if you sign up for generic cola, uh, then, like, in public you can only drink generic cola, you know, to, to further give off the impression that you actually like generic cola. And you're not doing this for the money. Like, what is this? This is, this is like how wrestling used to be. Like, you know, everyone pretending that this is... You know, professional wrestling, like the, uh, the the WWF or WWE, whatever they call themselves. Um, you know, we they, they pretend like these are actual characters and actual conflicts and stuff. And then eventually everyone sort of realized that, okay, that was all made up. We were just pretending. We have these, like, continuing things now. Just pretend that you like this product. And then in, in public, just keep drinking this product. And let's all pretend that's what you really enjoy. And that's... And, and yet, and yet, it, was, it works to a degree. You influencing people's purchasing uh, habits and so forth. Oh well, so and so uses product X, and even if maybe they don't. M and M. My ideal is to have no ads ever. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, should never be paid specifically to to take one position or another on any issue, or you know, commercial products included. But any issue, you know, no, I'm not gonna say. You know, uh, I agree with someone's book here, or I, I stand by this political position, or I, no, frick that, I should, I should make my own decisions. If you're paid to say it, well then, who knows what the truth is, right? I like to have no ads at all, and a few people do that. You know, Homestar Runner. You heard of HomestarRunner.com, I did a video on them. You've probably heard of them anyway. <laughs> they have all these cartoons, and they're all free. Like, there's a couple cartoons that you can only get on a DVD. But really, like, 99% of it or something, some, some big old percentage, all completely free, no ads at all, not even any links to, like, anything off the site or anything. Which is, like, wow. <laughs> That's really pure no-ad stance you have there. <laughs> um, and they make their money selling merchandise. You know, real physical merchandise, which makes sense to pay for, you know, because I can't just print infinite copies of that. But you can make infinite copies of a video, basically. That would be cool if I could manage that, or if the vloggers could manage that. That would be really cool. Or as I said in the, my comment on the thing, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll send you guys some money. You know, here's 20 bucks or something for being cool. Um, and that goes into the notion of the donison, uh, a word I invented, which is just a person who lives off of donations. Of which there are a couple people that do that. They put out something for free, like on the internet, um, and other people just send them cash to say, wow, you're cool. And it could be enough to live off of. Maybe not be rich, but to live off of. That'd be awesome. That's like, you know, no no dishonesty any which way, no distraction any which way, no coercion uh, any which way. You know, I'm making this stuff for free, and you're free to pay me back, or you're not, or whatever. And in fact, that is, that is what I do right now. That is what, I have no ads. Yeah, if YouTube ever calls me up and says, hey, you want to be part of the partner program? I'd be like, no. <laughs> I don't want to run ads. If you just want to give me cash, that'd be cool. But I don't want to, you know. I suppose on some level I'm technically supporting the ads. If I'm on YouTube and then, like, that brings people to the YouTube website. And then once they're here, maybe they, you know, eventually go to someone else's video with ads. So I'm kind of connected in some way. But I try to keep pure. No, I don't want to do ads. I don't want to do distraction. I don't want to do dishonesty. I don't want to do any of that. And ideally, yes, I would. I would love to be supported by donations. Which is totally. There was this. This one guy gave me fifteen bucks this one time. You like my video on Batman, Raphael? You are so cool <laughs> for giving me. I mean, not, you know, again, people who don't donate aren't necessarily less cool. Maybe they have something better to do with their money. That is entirely possible. Anyway, so don't sell out. Keep true to whatever it is you do. And, and be honest with people, and don't forget to be awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.